Good morning, Dr. Vong here. Today is August 19th. This is your COVID update. You know, I'm on my new iPhone. So hopefully the volume and the picture quality looks better. <laughs> but this is how I look. I just ain't getting much better than this. Anyway, yesterday the United States announced a third booster shot for people with Moderna and uh, Pfizer. Now this is, uh, as a reminder, a third shot. The um, actual vaccine itself will be the same. They haven't altered the messenger RNA. People have asked me, like, why don't they change it to, to fight the Delta variant more? Well, <laughs> that would mean you'd have to go through more trials and you'd have to prove it's safe and uh, efficacious and then, um, and then produce it and then go through the, all the FDA approval and CDC process and that's just called science. So what they have done though is shown that a third booster um, really increases your level of neutralizing antibodies and effectiveness against um, this current, what we're going through right now. So uh, why, why do this now? They are recommending eight months after your second dose, but why do this now? Well, some early reports that are coming out shows a concerning drop in efficacy of the RNA vac vaccinations against breakthrough cases. Now, you know, they're, they're thinking we should call it something else, but for this, for the moment, it's breakthrough. Someone who's fully vaccinated comes down with COVID. Um, what they are seeing from the numbers is that the, the vaccinations are still very effective against keeping people from having severe disease, hospitalizations, and death, right? And that's what we're after. So let's say Moderna was up to 95% effective. In its current setting, it remains about 94%, 93% effective in, in against severe disease, hospitalizations, and death. Very good. Same thing with Pfizer, maybe down to 91, 92%. And some of it depends on which study and what location, et cetera. But still very, very effective against severe disease, death, uh, hospitalizations, and death, okay? What's concerning though, are the milder cases. And even with Moderna and Pfizer, those numbers for Moderna is going from 94% effective down to as low as 80% effective. And at some locations, you know, as low as 47% effective against like mild disease, which is fine, but you know, you'd like to see something better. So why are they recommend a booster? First of all, let me tell you, there are other vaccinations which have third boosters. I mean, um, you know, in, in medicine, um, the hepatitis vaccination is three, three shots. You have to get a third booster. So this is nothing new. This is part of having a vaccine. But if you put on your thinking caps a little bit, um, if the doctors are starting and scientists are starting to see breakthrough cases and lowering of efficacy against mild disease, you can kind of intuit, intuit that there's a possibility in the future if you're having increases in breakthrough cases, then it's possible that you, that could lead to like more hospitalizations, right? So if you're having more mild cases, you could intuit that it would lead to more severe disease cases eventually. And then having more severe disease cases will eventually lead to more hospitalizations and more hospitalizations obviously increases the risk of more death. So instead of waiting till we have more hospitalizations or more death, the CDC has decided that we should try to fix this problem now at the mild disease stage. Hopefully that makes sense. So what they're, and, and the studies that they have conducted show that with the third booster, the third shot, it has a very robust antibody response. And therefore you could uh, predict that it will keep the efficacy of the vaccines at a very high level, therefore offering you great protection. And that's actually what we need to do in order to overcome this pandemic. And just like you, I, I wanna go back to a normal life also. And, um, and uh, so we, we all need to do our part. Speaking of doing our part, you know, like uh, 
Garth Brooks, God bless him. Saw him in concert uh, but right before the pandemic, but you know he's canceled some some tours. The United States is 162,000 cases yesterday, and that brings our average up to 140,000. So as long as the cases keep going up, we're you know we're not under control. Mississippi's out of ICU beds. Alabama's IC, out of ICU beds. Um, you know if you look at Mississippi, Alabama, Texas, and Florida. For roughly 50 million people, there's only about 800 ICU beds left. That's not good. And, and as I've been saying, I've, I'm shocked at how quickly this is spreading up the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, New York City is over 2,000 cases a day now. Um, and we know what happened in New York. LA is over 3,000 cases a day and it's just really spreading up. And what you're seeing is because of Sturgis, it's looking like an explosion in the Midwest. Chicago's up to almost a thousand cases a day and these are the largest cities in America and it's just it's just a matter of time before that Midwest st uh, starts up so um, I hope hopefully that was helpful for you to explain why we're doing why the CDC FDA is recommending a third booster shot and it's not a conspiracy and the response of see I told you it doesn't work what's the point of getting it like it that's really irrational and illogical and I was hoping to bring a little bit of sense to you today. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another quick COVID update.